from the governor of the state of California, Gavin Newsom, to ham radio operators across the People's Republic of California, you're fired. Yep. The uh, state of California, uh, well, it never was ham friendly, but they have now uh, just fired ham radio from the uh, emergency plan from the state of California, this time on K6 UDA Radio. If you can't tell, I'm just a wee bit pissed off this morning. And uh, once again, for about the billionth time, I'm pissed off at the state of California. But this time, it's because of ham radio and the state of California. In typical California fashion, the, uh, the government of the state of California, of the once great state of California, has declared itself independent and the rulers, not the servants, of the people of this once great state. Yeah, yet again, uh, one of the unelected Un a, unaccountable, nameless, faceless bureaucrats within deep within the bowels of the state has uh, put her proverbial thumb on the necks of ham radio operators and uh, repeater owners all across the state, possibly uh, endangered the lives of hundreds of thousands of rural Californians the, this story started in this tiny little town called Shingletown, California. This is deep within uh, rural California in Shasta County. It is uh, just 50 miles from the heart of the Paradise Fire, uh, which, gee, less than a year ago, took out an entire town and killed hundreds of people. Like I said, Shasta County is one of the uh, northernmost counties in, uh, in the state of California. Very, very rural, very, very prone to forest fires. Everybody that lives in these areas is keenly aware of the danger of, uh, of wildfires. And this group in Shingletown has created a, uh, a group of hams, a very well-organized militia of hams, non-hams, all kinds of people from the community, and almost everybody in the community is somehow connected with this uh, communications group because they realize that in the case of a fire, in the case of a lot of these emergencies, uh, the first thing to go in their area is internet services, the cell phone service goes down, there is virtually no infrastructure for communications at that point, and uh, like in the Paradise Fire, a lot of people were hurt and killed because they didn't have the communications to be able to be warned. So yes, uh, in the state of California, there is this thing called the reverse 911, and, uh, and they have all these really, really neat systems to warn people to evacuate, to do, uh, you know, to take, seek shelter, shelter in place, evacuate, do whatever needs to get done. But when, all these systems fail all at the same time, there's only one thing that keeps working and that is the, uh, the infrastructure of ham radio and uh, radio communications because it isn't an infrastructure. It isn't a real infrastructure. It is made up of this person to this person you know, you know the, the drill. Now this is the actual uh, email that was sent out or the letter that was sent out from the uh, nameless, faceless, unelected, unaccountable bureaucrat named Lorena Fisi from Cal Fire. Basically it goes like this. 
Uh, Dear John, I do understand and appreciate all the services you have provided in the past. However, with constantly changing technological advantages, there is no longer the same benefit to the state of California as previously provided. Therefore, the department no longer financially supports ham radio operators or their tenancy. Now, Shingletown attorney Nathan Zeliff uh, pretty, uh, pretty much said it way better than I can. And he wrote uh, a 14-page letter to the uh, state of California and Lorena accurately stating that uh, the, the cost to the state of California is nothing. We own the equipment. We maintain the equipment. They just house it there which uh, cost them nothing extra. He goes on to talk about how uh, their group in Shingletown in uh, Shasta County has gone ahead and implemented their own communications and early warning system in addition to the state system, which uh, has failed as late as, oh, let's say last year and into this year. He references the uh, the state's uh, expensive color pamphlet that got handed out door to door telling everybody to have a communications plan and practice it regularly. Yet now they're disbanding their own uh, their own propaganda. That's wonderful. Thank you, Lorena. You know, this town has also been plagued with uh, situations where they've lost their 911 capabilities, their radio com- uh, capabilities, uh, all the cell phones were out and down. And oh, by the way, PG&E now cuts off the power before the fire starts uh, when there's high wind conditions. So they can't get news and information except on something like Oh, say a ham radio. Shasta County's own emergency operations plan uh, utilizes ham radio within it. And they understand and they even state it right there that uh, that under these kinds of circumstances, their normal radio communications will become overloaded and they need ham radio uh, to help with all the disaster preparations, operations, and aftermath. Now, Nathan also outlined uh, very recent um, incidents where ham radio has been monitored by the police and used in conjunction with public safety during uh, these emergencies. And man, I'll tell you what, Nathan did a very, very good job laying out all of the stuff in his exhibits that have happened right there in Shingletown. And this is also a uh, this is also the opportunity for us to ask the AWRL to actually step in and do something legislatively and and in our interest for the state of California. Yes, you know what? Yeah, I since I become a ham radio operator, I've paid my dues to the AWRL. And I haven't really expected much out of the AWRL as far as being a legislative body. It's not like, uh, oh, say the NRA, uh, which has been protecting my constitutional rights forever and ever. I understand radio is not a constitutional right, but uh, my safety and security sure as hell is. Uh, and I would, uh, I would ask, and let's just call this an open letter to the AWRL, please, on behalf of your members that live in the once great state of California, please, let's get on board. How about lobbying the state? How about, um, you know, making a few phone calls to the governor's office on our behalf on the, what, uh, probably 25,000 members of the AWRL who live in the state of California, uh, that would be nice. And for the rest of us, we can't just sit back and rely on, uh, on unelected bureaucrats on the AWRL who really hasn't done much in the way of legislative action. <laughs> 
Let's just face the facts. Um, but we need to we need to call. We need to write letters. We need to we need to tell them that we want to be part of our own self determination of are we going to survive the next paradise fire? Are we going to survive you know whatever else uh, Mother Nature or you know man caused disasters might have in store for us? If you're like me, you should be a little bit pissed off at this point. And um, I hope that this uh, call to action is going to hit home with some of you guys. It should hit home with all of you, everybody in the state of California. I mean, this is, again, the government coming in and saying, ah, we don't need you guys. We, we don't need the people. The government will take care of everything. The government will feed you. The government will house you. The government, yeah, the government's doing such a wonderful job. There's homeless vets living on the street and <laughs> excuse me, pooping on our on the streets of uh, you know San Francisco, L.A. and Sacramento. Well, you know what? I don't live in L.A., San Francisco, or Sacramento, and I don't want to uh, because those. City governments have allowed the, the people to, uh, to become just squalored pigs. Ugh. I, I, I don't understand this. I just want to ask you guys, if you live here in the state of California, you know, write a letter, send an email, go stop by their office, uh, your local state assemblyman or state senator or both. And uh, you know what? You know, send an email to Gavin Newsom. Um, I'm gonna provide. I'm gonna provide his email right here, as well as uh, the people in charge and the nameless, faceless bureaucrat. I'm gonna put her. Uh, I'm gonna put her info, contact info, and uh, let's uh, let's deluge her and uh, make her famous. And let's see if the state of California, if the the representatives of the state of California are there for us, the people, or if they just want to continue on, uh, you know, building trains to nowhere and giving illegal aliens free health care on the backs of, uh, of good, hardworking Americans and Californians who are fleeing the state in numbers that have never been seen. That's it. That's all I got. I, I, I got nothing else.